One day, cryptocurrencies will be used consistently for everyday purchases and money exchange. They make money when the owner sleeps. We use more electricity than like your local hospital will use. We've got uh, eight megawatts of potential power. This location was originally used by a helicopter company working for the US government. So here's where the action takes place. spent up to a million and a half. It's something that everybody <laughs> should be doing, yeah. My name is Herbert Wagner and I host a data processing center. It's quite warm. We have created a system where we basically have cold aisles and hot aisles. And the cold aisles are providing the cool air that is taken in by the machines. When the machines operate, they create a lot of heat. Everything is insulated. So we keep all the hot air in here and it's sucked up through the fans that are up there. And the cold aisle receives the cold air through our um, evap cooling system. This is our evap cooling system and to prevent dust and dirt to be sucked into the facility we have this blue felt. The evaporative cooling system is a static system. All we do is we suck the air from the outside through the evap mats. We basically wet these, um, these panels and the air is sucked in and the water creates a tremendous temperature drop. Yeah. But we don't want any air conditioning, any additional cooling other than our evap cooling system. If you have air conditioning, you have to use power. We don't need electricity to cool our building, so we can keep our operating charges uh, very low. It's 8,000 square feet. It's uh, separated in three different bays. We have a 8,000 megawatt power supply up there on the roof. This is our exhaust system. It pulls all the hot air that is created from the mining equipment out. Everything is metal. Then we have evap cooling systems. This location was originally used by a helicopter company working for the US government. And they were repairing and uh, restoring uh, helicopters. So the facility was already very much prepared for what we had in mind to do. We provide hosting services for individuals that want their mining equipment placed in a facility that can provide the service and the environment to mine cryptocurrencies. Our work hours are 24-7. <laughs> the equipment always needs to be uh, managed and uh, controlled. So we have our team working in shifts so that we are there every minute of the day and also at night. There's three components that are important when you select a location. Yeah. Number one is temperatures. Number two is electricity. Number three are the weather conditions. Right now, we have rain most every day, sometimes heavy storms and lightning. Our building is equipped with surge protectors that basically save us from any lightning strikes. So these are our four 2500 amp SESs. So SES stands for Service Entrance Section. 
from the main grid, our power comes in and hits the first set of transformers. And then from here, it goes into the SES and then into the building. Our facility here, <laughs> and the average person is, go is gonna blow their mind. Yeah, so our facility here, we spent up to a million and a half a year for power. When we're under max capacity, we're, we use more electricity than like your local hospital will use. So we use roughly enough electricity to power about 1,200 homes in a month. Where wind energy is um, used, or solar, but all these technologies are not at a point, at least I believe that, that it's as sufficient as needed. Because they all still have to tap into the grid. They still have to buy power yeah, from the grid. So they are, not, they are not able to be completely disconnected from it. You can't, you can't run those machines at home. It's just impossible, yeah. Here's an example of um, a miner that's currently being used. We host currently a couple hundred of these for customers, and uh, it's a 90 terahash ASIC miner. Four years ago, uh, miners were generating 28, 25, 30, 32 terahash. Today, you have miners that are generating 140 terahash. Yeah. ASIC miners are application-specific integrated computers. They're, they are mini computers running uh, um, Linux operating systems uh, in one form or another. We can control the, um, the wattage, we can control the heat uh, consumption. We are basically able to customize production capacity for a miner and we can keep it in a healthy, balanced, spectrum. They always consist of a power supply, a control card, and inside the housing there are three ASIC cards in this particular model. Some uh, miners out there have six ASIC cards, uh, there's different types, but uh, three is common. These are individual ASIC chips. I think there's 152 on this card. And uh, usually there's input fans and output fans to keep good laminar airflow going through the unit for cooling. Let's say as example, somebody is using a cryptocurrency to, to basically buy something, as example, yeah? Six miners all over the world have to approve this transaction. And with, when that takes place, they get paid for their work. When you use your credit card and you purchase something from a merchant, the credit card company is receiving a percentage for their transaction. So the merchant is willing to give a percentage of his sale to the credit card company for providing the service, your service of using a credit card. And it's the same thing uh, with cryptocurrency, basically. Yeah? So you can get, if you have a miner, you basically get rewarded for somebody else using the service. It's something that everybody <laughs> should be doing. Yeah, that's how, I, that's how I look at it. We have customers from all over the world. Uh, we have customers in Chile, we have customers in El Salvador, we have customers in the Czech Republic, in Poland, we have customers in, uh, in Italy, Milan, Italy, in, uh, in England, uh, in Morocco. El Salvador, as example, has created a currency system where Bitcoin is the second currency used in the country. The average individual received a small amount of Bitcoin to get used to using it. One day, cryptocurrencies will be used consistently for everyday purchases. 
and money exchange. I have a credit card that I can use and it, it basically takes Bitcoin and I can go and I can buy milk or I can buy groceries, yeah? But it's taken out of my Bitcoin account. But I have a credit card, yeah? So that's already all taken place, yeah? So I believe that there's gonna be um, a day in the future where we're not gonna have any fiat currencies anymore. I always believed in cryptocurrency being the opportunity for every individual to, to basically tap into financial security and resources that were usually available for big money. I have one principle that, I, that I've been following for most of my life. A man with integrity expects to be believed or have time prove him right. Yeah? So time is a very important factor. Being patient and consistent is gonna lead you to a successful target. Yeah. The most important thing is that it does, it's not as complicated as it looks. Yeah, it really isn't. Yeah. You don't need to know how the car is operating. All you need to know is how to start it. And that's the same thing here. Yeah. I have learned a lot building this, the, this facility. I will never stop doing because I just, I just need to be involved. Yeah, I need to be active, I need to create, and uh, I think that technology is gonna lead us into an amazing future, yeah, with no limits.